GameCube and we were the sixth generation Nintendo Switch system with better visuals than the PlayStation and Xbox. It was a family popular console for its best features and unique game collections. Sad to say that both the GameCube and the Wii are now dead. Have you ever thought of playing GameCube and Wii games without any consoles on our Android phone? Yes, now it's possible. And this is made possible by the Dolphin emulator. In this video, we will cover how to install Dolphin emulator, configuration and settings, download GameCube and Wii ROMs, install games on Dolphin emulator at the last gameplay and start enjoying the best GameCube emulator on our Android phone. Please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button. What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. Before we start, let me introduce Dolphin, a free emulator that was released in 2013 primarily for Windows. After some success, they extended the software to Android. The Android version of Dolphin emulator can run thousands of games on Android. It doesn't require a very powerful device to run GameCube and Wii robes. Let's get started. At first, we need to download the Dolphin app from the Play Store. Head over to the Google Play Store and search for Dolphin Emulator. You can see Dolphin has rich ratings and over millions of downloads already done. For your kind information, Dolphin has two more versions available for Android. Check the description of this video. Open the Discord link. Please join our Discord server where I have already shared the GitHub link. And here you can get the other versions of Dolphin. It's a very small software so it will download very first once we have downloaded and installed the application let's go ahead and open it up we are now in the dolphin emulator though we are launching the application for the first time there will be empty in the game library before we are going to add any games we will do some customization and configuration settings click on the icon that looks like here at the top bar then tap on config here the very first option is general make sure dual core is enabled and enabled uses statistics reporting if you want to see fps and cpu performance during gameplay speed limit option set it to 200 for the maximum performance under the section of interference you can set screen orientation expand the cutout area theme and other display related option there is nothing to do with the audio so use the default settings enable search subfolders for games which will automatically detect games inside the folder now move to the advanced section you will see this near the bottom of the menu override emulated cpu clock speed just to tap on it to enable enable emulated memory site this option will adjust the ram users it will adjust the memory users itself when it's needed a checked box means that feature is enabled return to the main settings menu tap on graphics settings it's usually the second item on the menu here you can set your favorite video back Second, to enable compile shaders before starting. Now click on the statistics, then tap on show FPS and show speed. You can play with the other options. Now back to the main screen. Now let's load the game on the Dolphin emulator. Click on add games in the bottom left corner. It will open your phone's file manager. Here create a new folder and give a name such as Dolphin games, then paste games into the game folder. So we need to download game rooms because Dolphin emulator will not come with games pre-installed one more thing make sure your download games is playable on the emulator or not Dolphin official site they have released a game compatibility list here you can find all the GameCube Wii and NS games that are perfectly running in the Dolphin emulator so choose and select a game you would like to play then open a new tab in the browser and search for the game rooms that means you have to download ISO GCM and NRG files which are supported by Dolphin emulator. I can share any direct links because it will be against the YouTube community guidelines. For more information, please join our Discord server. After downloading games, make sure you unzip them, paste all the games in the Dolphin folder. Now click on use this folder and this will allow Dolphin to get access. Its time has come to enjoy Dolphin and Wii games on our Android phone. You can see clearly this emulator is to turn my Android phone into a console 
and it's running very smoothly if you want to see more such videos on my channel please like and subscribe to our channel join our discord server and share your opinions i will definitely like to help you no more today see you in the next video take care